What's happening everyone? My name is Adrian and welcome back to What The Pun. <laughs> so hope you're all good, doing good, doing great, doing well. Today, today just a short video, just a quick video as to basically an update on how I'm getting on with the Mod 6 Golf 4. So I've picked it up three weeks, had it three weeks now since the car has been tuned by Arctic Performance and it's running over 360 brake horsepower. So how am I getting on with the car? Um, well, for those of you that are new to the channel that don't know, that doesn't know what's going on, what's happened to the car, I will put a friendly Golf R playlist of this whole journey up here. And in regards to the car, I really started off as a very well looked after example uh, that I purchased from a Volkswagen dealership in High Wycombe. The idea originally was to keep this car stock, look after it, keep it running, living a happy life, uh, happy, happy ever after life, <laughs> happily ever after life. But uh, at some point, I was quite inspired by a friend's uh, journey with their car and what they've done to their car. Uh, so that kind of inspired me to originally do a OEM Plus build which didn't happen, uh, uh, I kind of deviated away from the OEM Plus and somehow it's ended up as a Stage 2 Plus build running over 360 brake horsepower, 388 foot-pounds of torque. And what is it like? So in today's video, I basically go over what it's like living every day with a car that's running a Stage 2 Plus, how I'm getting on. So how is it for me now? So it's been about three weeks since um, our visit to Arctic Performance and obviously it's really given me the opportunity to test out the car properly and reintegrate the Golf R into my daily routine. And how's it been? <laughs> uh, honestly, I would say it's the best thing I've, I could have ever done to the Golf R. It never ceases to bring the biggest smile from ear to ear to my face, honestly. It's the, probably the, by far the best thing I could have done to this car. With the additional power, with the handling modifications, it handles so well on the road. It builds up the power so nicely. And when, you know, opportunity comes where you get to stretch out its legs a bit, it sounds so good. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's been the best thing, honestly, best thing I've ever done. I could have ever done to this golf R, uh, and on, obviously with the addition of the uh, downpipe, that's completely changed the soundtrack of this car as well. Which um, brings me on to my next point, really, to be honest, um, because of the type of driving I do with this car every day, it is still my everyday commuter car, so to and from work. Um, a lot of times I am going to areas uh, where I can only do 20 miles an hour, if I'm lucky, sometimes 30, oh, 30. Uh, or otherwise I'm stuck in traffic. I'm not quite stuck in, tra stuck in traffic right now, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's great. But yeah, uh, according to the map, there's a lot of traffic ahead, but yeah. It's, it's mainly my daily driver and because of the type of driving I'm doing a lot of the times I don't even hear it I'm just listening to well if it's not doing that and I you know sometimes I'll be in the the quietest uh, residential area very nice residential area and uh, I'll be going over a speed bump and this car decides to go and I would then be like sorry wasn't me 
So, yeah, sometimes it's... Uh, I mean, the first few times it, it was actually quite funny, but then after a while, we're going, going through the same residential area, day in, day out almost. Um, and, then, and then Karen or um, Dave, they see me again, and they're like, oh, it's that idiot with the golf R again. Oh, guess what he's gonna do? It's not been, uh, <laughs> it's not ideal. But uh, the other thing uh, being the fuel economy, man, fuel economy is not good, honestly. Um, I'm lucky if I'm getting anywhere close to 20, 20 mpgs every day, to be honest. Because uh, I don't do the motorway miles, uh, yes, there's a lot of start and stop traffic. So, not ideal for this car, to be honest. So, so, oh, other thing before I sew, <laughs> the other thing is uh, definitely need to improve the stopping power of this car. I think with the extra horses, I think I'm requ I do need just that little bit better stopping power. Uh, I've been looking at different kits, so at some point I'll get that done. But yeah, back to the sew. So, all that being said, I have been considering... I have been looking at uh, another car to use as a daily and just let this be my weekend car so I can really enjoy it uh, more over the weekends instead of not being able to fully enjoy the car as a daily car because most of the times I'm just doing 20 miles an hour instead of you know just letting it really stretch its legs out and do its all amazingness <laughs> if you know what I mean so yeah, because uh, I've been kind of considering getting a daily daily driver again, it's led me to try, well not try, to revive Project GTI and really just give that one more go. I've been talking to uh, a few people uh, to see what they think. And, uh, so at the moment in the background, I'm trying to make arrangements to see we can get the GTI up and running again so that'll be nice at some point what I will have some if it does go back on the road which would be really nice It'd be sad to see a GTI go to waste it'd be nice to keep another GTI back on the road if that goes back on the roads I will hopefully you know be able to have some content on it so you can all enjoy so yeah let's see how we get on I'll keep you all informed so make sure you stay tuned as to what's going on with that, if it does come back, but yeah. Okay, so to conclude with this, the lovely Mark 6 Golf R now. <laughs> it's absolutely so good to drive, so fun, it brings the biggest smile to my face. But obviously because I've gone from the original plan, being an own plus build, to a stage 2 plus build, that's really taken this away from being a sensible daily driver. But hopefully, if the Mark 5 Golf GSI can be revived, then that can replace this as a daily driver uh, in regards to like I said previously content I'll have links on the screen for you to catch up with how I got on with the Mark 6 Golf R how that ended up being a stage 2 plus build and I'll probably put a, a link just so you can catch up with what I'm on about because if you don't haven't seen content about Mark 5 Golf GTI I'll leave that leave that up on the screen as well but yes uh, in regards to future content, I, there's, though this is pretty much done. I still have a few bits I want to do with the car, so uh, stay tuned. There will be more things to come, some things I'll be testing out as well, just to see how, if there's anything I can do to slightly improve and fine-tune the car a little bit more. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, like, just so you are informed with what's going on. But from me this week. That is all. Thank you very much for tuning in. Take care. See you all next time. Bye-bye.